get into our comfortable positions, whatever that means for you. Hands gently on the lap, lift your spine tall, draw your shoulders back down away from the ears. And we'll take a moment to close the eyes or just a gentle gaze at the ground. Lengthening through the crown of the head, grounding down into the sits bones. Softening the muscles in the face. Relaxing the neck and shoulders. Relax down your arms, hands. Relaxing the stomach muscles, hips, and legs. Taking a deep breath into the belly, the bottom part of the lungs. Exhaling, drawing the belly button in, empty the breath out. Take an inhale as you expand the belly. Exhale to contract. Full breath, expand the belly into the rib cage. And exhale to empty all the way out. Start to introduce your ujjayi breath, constriction at the back of the throat as you exhale, creating the ha sound. As you inhale, drawing the breath back in and recreating that same light constriction. Continue this breath with the mouth closed, breath moving gently in and out of the nose. Just going with the natural rhythm of your breath, in and out. And just starting to notice the count of each breath, in and out. If you start to notice any of the thoughts drifting in your mind, Recognize that and move on, coming back to your breath. Focusing on the present moment. Enjoying the quality of the breath. Noticing how this feels in the body. Remembering to use this breath throughout your whole practice. In one more full round of breath. As we exhale, gently open up the eyes. We'll take a few shoulder rolls, starting by bringing the shoulders up towards the ears, forward and down, and just moving ever so slowly and gently with this breath. We'll go the opposite direction, nice big circles, drawing the shoulders up and back. And then we'll bring the shoulders back to stillness. Draw your right ear over to your right shoulder. Option to extend the left hand down to the ground. And option is bring the right fingertips to the left temple. Imagine lengthening in opposite directions, left fingertips towards the left crown of the head, towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, drawing the right ear a little closer to the right shoulder. And just feel that expansiveness in the neck. Taking one more full breath. Place the hands to the left. Draw left ear to left shoulder. And option to extend the right hand down. Option for left hand to come to the right temple. Inhaling opposite directions. And exhaling, drawing the left ear towards left shoulder. 
sweeping that length through the right of the arm, back of the shoulder. One more deep breath. And gently release. Interlace your hands out in front. And then as you extend the arms straight, bring the palms to face forward. Take a little bit of a C curve here. Draw the belly button in towards the spine. Take a deep breath. In your inhale, slowly draw the palms up towards the ceiling and straighten the spine. Take another deep breath, lengthening through the sides of the body. Inhale. Exhale as you create that C curve again, tucking the belly in and reaching the palms forward away. Inhale, reach the palms up, straighten the arms. And exhale, tuck, creating that C curve of the spine. Good. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale to place the left hand down to the ground. Reach tall through the right side of the body. Inhale. As you exhale, bend the left elbow and sweep the right arm up and over. It might feel good to take a few rolls here, taking the right arm into a big circle. Good. We'll take one more deep breath in. And exhale, place the right palm down. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale to bend the right elbow, sweep the left arm over. And you may concentrate on just lengthening here through the left fingertips. Or that may feel good to take big circles with this left arm. Nice and slowly, taking a few deep breaths. One more deep breath here. And inhale, come all the way up. Take the arms out like cactus arms, so bend the elbows. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, so you bring the palms and elbows in. And just maybe again that little C curve of the spine. So you inhale, open up through the chest. Exhale, so you draw in, closing it off. Inhale, open up. arms out and up. As you exhale, bend your right elbow, right hand comes right between the shoulder blades, left hand can touch the right elbow, or if you have your strap, place that in the right hand. As the strap comes down the length of the spine, and you can draw the hands in as close as that feels good. Shoulder blades in towards one another, feel that stretch through the front side body. One more deep breath. Inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale to bend the left elbow, right hand to left elbow. And you can take that strap into the left hand, taking the right hand behind to hold on to both ends of the strap, lifting up tall. Shoulder blades draw towards one another. Deep breaths here. One more deep breath. And just gently release that bottom arm. We're going to keep the strap in the hands and reach the hands all the way up so that you're holding the strap in between the hands and the hands are a little wider than shoulder width apart. And this is going to sound a little strange, but we're going to kayak. So you're going to imagine that you're kayaking the arms forward. You're going to feel the shoulder blades kind of rolling around. And then we're going to go the opposite direction. So you're going to go 
and like a kayak motion in the back. Good. And then we're going to inhale, reach both arms up. We're going to do that same shoulder shrug action. So you're going to draw the shoulder blades down. And then you're going to shoulder shrug up. So you're going to, on the exhale, bring the bottoms of the shoulder blades down. And then as you inhale, imagine lifting them up. So it's not a large action, it's really small. But you're just going to start to feel that shoulder shrug more now in the backs of the shoulders. Good. We'll take another deep breath here. Just hold, lengthening. Just drawing the hands in opposite directions, feeling that stretch in the chest. So we exhale, release the strap down, take one end behind the back, so that now you have both ends in front. Take a hold of the strap behind you, and your elbows can remain bent here and just work on drawing those shoulder blades together. Or you may start to straighten the arms and bring the palms a little bit closer down or the knuckles closer down towards the mat. So if that feels good, stay right here. Otherwise, you can walk the knuckles away from the tailbone and away from each other. So find your variation here, what feels best. Soften the collarbone, soften the jaw. Take one more full breath. And we'll exhale, just release, maybe giving out the wrist a little roll here after holding the strap. Okay. Then we'll come into our tabletop position. If you'd like, have your blanket for underneath your knees. Otherwise, just moving that aside. Line your shoulders right over your wrists, hips right over the knees, tuck your back toes. Start to bring the inner parts of the forearms and elbows towards one another. And then start to bring your weight more towards the thumb and the index finger. We'll take a deep breath in for cow pose. Start to soften the belly down like a hammock, lifting the tailbone up. Exhale, cat, draw your chin, tailbone into the midline of the body. Inhale, soften belly down, tailbone up to the sky. Exhale, draw your gaze towards the belly, round the back. Inhale, soften belly down, slight gaze forward or up. Exhale, hug the belly in. Slowly come back to a neutral spine here. Threading the needle, keep your left palm onto the mat and inhale to sweep the right arm up. Exhale, thread the needle, slide the back of your right hand, coming down to right cheek and shoulder, tailbone stays lifted to the sky. And if that feels good, you can slide your left hand to the top of the mat, feeling that nice stretch, just like we do in down dog. So you're feeling that in the left arm in the left back of the body. One more deep inhale. Exhale to bend left elbow, palm right under the shoulder, and inhale to sweep the right arm up. Exhale, back to tabletop. Press into your right palm. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, thread the needle. Slide the left arm through. Coming down to the left cheek and shoulder. Again, if that feels good, stay right here. Or maybe you'd like to feel that stretch. The right side of the body, the right back muscles. And extend the right hand to the top of the mat. One more deep breath in. Exhale, throwing 
right palm underneath the shoulder. Inhale, left arm up to the sky. Exhale, back to tabletop. We're going to come into a hero's pose. So if you can, walk the knees and ankles close to each other. Stay up onto the toes and then just slowly walk back onto the heels. So the glutes are going to just sit right onto the heels. Take an inhale, open the arms out wide. Exhale, eagle arms or big hug. So hands can come to the backs of the shoulders, or you can bring the palms in together to touch. Just bring the chin in slightly to relax the back of the neck. All right, stretching back muscles, backs of the shoulders. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale, we'll come into a tabletop position. Find your alignment here, shoulders right over the wrist, and just extend the right leg back, coming up onto the right toes. We'll give that calf a nice stretch by slowly guiding the right heel down. And then shifting forward slightly, taking that stretch out. So as we exhale, guiding the right heel down deep, stretching that right calf. And then shifting forward into neutral. We'll do that one more time. On your exhale, guide the heel down. And just maybe pause here for a moment, looking straight down at the mat. And we'll come back to tabletop position. Extend the left leg out, coming up onto the left toes. Take a deep breath in. We exhale, guide the left heel down towards the ground. Inhale, come back to neutral. Exhale, heel down. Inhale, back to neutral. And on this exhale, just hold it as long as that feels good. Deep breath in. And exhale, bend the left knee, tabletop position. This time, reach for your block. So for our hero's pose, we'll place that where our sacrum will go. And then just keep the tops of the toenails pressing into the ground as you move back into that pose. So now this time, your tailbone is being supported by the block. We'll take our eagle arms to the opposite side. Inhale, reach the arms out. Exhale, bringing the left arm over the right, either big hug here or palms together to touch. Chin in slightly. One more inhale. And exhale to gently unwind the arms, coming back into tabletop position. We'll move into child's pose, moving the block away, big toes touch, knees either close or wide apart as you take the glutes onto the heels and walk your hands out in front of you, forehead down to the ground. Maybe you have that block nearby, you'd like to place your forehead on the block. If you're feeling any strain trying to keep the neck lifted, Place it gently to the block. Inhale slowly to come all the way back up to tabletop position, hands and knees. Level the hips once again, so squaring the knees right underneath the hips. And step your right leg forward for a low lunge. So the right foot comes right between the hands. We can keep the left toes tucked or untucked. We'll make our way by placing the hands onto the top of the right thigh. Keep the right hand on the right thigh as you inhale, reach long with the left side of the body. Exhale, side stretch just slightly here, reaching the left fingertips over towards the right side of the body. See if you can keep that slight cat tilt of the tailbone here, so it's going in towards the midline of the body. Feeling that nice stretch in the psoas. Take another 
another inhale. And exhale. If you have those blocks here, you may even walk them back for a half split. Walk in the back. The hands can be on the inside of the foot if that feels best. Straighten the right leg. Flex the right toes back. You may still have your left toes tucked here, so it's having a little bit of stability. Inhale, lengthen the spine. So it's not so much about how far we're folding forward. Make sure that you're keeping the right quadricep active, flexing the right toes back. And then just being really sturdy in this left leg. So we don't want to sink down into that hip. We want to still pull up. And now we have that cow tilt. So when I say the tailbone lifts to the ceiling, it's that same action here. You may feel that even deeper in the right hamstring. One more inhale. So exhale, you can walk the blocks towards the top. We'll come into a lizard lunge. The right foot comes towards the top edge of the mat. You have your blocks here. Start to slide the left toes just far back as that feels good here. Good. If this feels even better, you can start to draw the toes in and roll to the outside edge of the right foot so that you're opening out that left knee towards the right, or excuse me, the right knee towards the right. Make sure that the shoulders are right over the wrists here. And if that feels even better, you have your block for your left hand, you can take the right arm open. I'm taking a little bit of a twist. Good. And we'll take another full round of breath. And we'll return back to our lizard lunge. Bring your foot, heel, toe to the middle in between the hands. And we'll sit it back for tabletop position. We'll step the left foot to the top of the mat. Low lunge. So the foot is right between the hands. Right toes are tucked or untucked. And making your way up. Left hand and then right hand onto the left thigh. Keeping the left hand on the left thigh. Inhale, reach long the right side of the body. And exhale, stretching slightly over towards the right. So this doesn't have to be a really deep side stretch. Just enough to start opening up through the psoas and the tensor fascia lata, that muscle that supports the IT band. One more inhale. Exhale, release, reaching for the blocks. Half splits, the blocks can come to the inside of the left leg, walking the blocks back, straighten the left leg, flex the left foot. And lengthen the spine on your inhale. And then just maybe squeezing the left quadricep, tilting the hips back on the exhale. So that tailbone reaches back. Shoulders away from the ears, lengthen through the crown of the head. One more deep breath in. Exhale to bring your left foot down, coming into lizard lunge. Use your blocks the inside of the left foot if needed and heel toe left foot out. Maybe sliding those right toes back towards the edge of the mat. Line your right shoulder right over the right wrist. If that feels good, you can stay right here. If it feels even better, flex the left toe in. Roll to the outside edge of the left foot. And then maybe lifting the left arm up to the sky for a twist. Couple deep breaths here. One more inhale. Exhale, place the left hand down. Heel toe the foot right between the hands. And then bringing that knee back for tabletop position. Bring the hands right underneath the shoulders, spread through the 10 fingers wide, and move into a downward facing dog. So keep the toes tucked, lift the knees off of the mat. Sending the tailbone up to the sky and lengthening through the sides of the body, through the spine. If that feels good, keep the knees bent the whole time. If it 
feels better to pedal the feet out, start to warm up the hamstrings and calves. Going nice and slow. One heel down as you bend the opposite knee. One more full round of breath. As you inhale, look at the top of your mat. Exhale, step your feet to the top of the mat. Keep your feet wide. Bend the knees and forward fold. Just rest over the top of the thighs, chin in towards the chest. If that feels good, you can hold on to the opposite elbows and sway from side to side. We'll slowly come back to stillness. Reach the fingertips down to the ground. Feel toe the feet together to touch. Keep a slight bend to the knees. Inhale slowly to roll all the way to stand. And take a couple of half sun salutes. Big toes to touch. Lengthen tall through the spine. Press your palms to your heart. Inhale, reach the arms out to the sides, up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees and fold forward. Hands can come to the blocks or your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, palms come to the shins. Lengthen the spine, shoulders away from the ears. Deep breath in. Exhale, re-bend the knees and fold forward. Inhale, use the strength of the legs. Come all the way out and up. Exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. Inhale, arms out and up. Exhale, bend and fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, reach out and up. Exhale, your hands back at your heart. One more time. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, reach out and up. Exhale, your hands back to your heart. Release your hands to your sides. We'll come into our grounding pose mountain. Big toes stay together to touch. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Draw the tailbone under. If that feels good to close your eyes or just find a gaze in front of you. We'll shift your weight forward into the fronts of your toes. Back into the heels. Find the center of your feet. Shift over to the outside edge of the left foot, the right, and return back to the center of your feet. Pressing into both feet, engage your legs, glutes, abdomen, chest and back. Engage your arms as you reach your fingertips to the ground. Whole body is active and engaged. You lengthen and deepen your breath. Take one more full breath here. And on your exhale, open the eyes, release your pose. We're going to come into a quadricep stretch. So if you have your chair here, this might be a good place to find your chair or a wall if you need that for balance. We're going to start by placing all of the weight into the left foot. We'll start to bend the right knee and draw the heel in towards the glute, reaching for the outside edge of the right foot. So paying special attention here to draw the adductor muscles, those inner thigh muscles, in. And then a little bit of hamstring engagement here and drawing the tailbone forward. So just like we did in our lunge pose, 
find the tailbone under, taking a nice quadricep stretch, and psoas on the right leg. If you like, you can move on by bringing the right hand to the inside arch of the right foot. Inhale the left arm up, and exhale to fold as you press your right foot into your right hand. Two variations, so choose yours here. Take a few deep breaths. One more inhale. And on your exhale, gently release that right foot down. We're going to come into pyramid. So if you have your chair, you can stay right here. Otherwise, you might want your blocks on either side of your left foot. I'll just set that right leg back. Squaring the hips on the inhale, and the exhale, folding forward. So if you have your chair here, this is a nice place to rest the forearms, maybe even down at the bottom part of the chair. And if you have your blocks, you can try out your blocks. However that feels good for you. Inhaling, lengthening the spine, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhaling, continuing that fold. One more deep breath. And just bending the knees, place your hands to your hips and inhale slowly to come all the way up. Keep that right knee bent and step forward. We'll come to the opposite side of our pose of the dancer. We'll place all of the weight into the right foot. You have your wall or chair here. We'll start to bend the left knee and guide the left heel in towards the glute. So just pulling on the outside edge of the left foot. If you feel stable enough, you can always place the right hand to the right hip bone. And then start to, again, draw that knee in so that the patella is facing the ground, and you're just starting to draw the hamstring muscles so the heel comes close to the glute. At the same time, you're drawing that tailbone towards the ground and maybe in slightly. So lots of muscles working here, stretching those tight quadriceps. If you'd like to move on, you can bring the left hand to the inner arch of the left foot. Inhale, reach the right arm up. And exhale, hinging and kicking the left foot to the left hand. Just an option. Always come back to base here. Taking full advantage of this quad stretch. And we'll take another full round of breath. Finding your stabilization here first and then gently lowering the left foot down. We'll come into that pyramid pose. So if you have your chair, you can just keep it here and step the left foot back. If you have your blocks, just line those on the outsides of the right foot. Square the hips on your inhale, lengthen the spine. You exhale, hinge forward and fold. Hands can stay at the top of your chair. Maybe walk down to the seat. Or if you have your blocks, either side of the right leg. Long through the spine, sides of the body on your inhale. Keeping that length as you forward. And it's not so much about how far forward we go. We want to make sure that we're still activating through the legs, drawing the inner thighs in towards one another. One more full breath. Bend your knees, hands to the hips, inhale slowly to come up. Step your left foot to the top of the mat, hands at your heart. Inhale, sweep out and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. We'll plant the palms and just come back to tabletop position. So gently lowering to one knee at a time. 
If you have your blanket, you'd like to have that for Vadu Konasana, Bound Angle Pose. Just have the blanket so the hips come to the outside edge. Bring the soles of your feet together to touch. You can always place a couple of blocks underneath to support. If you have them, you can go on kind of an angle with the blocks. Hands to the outsides of the feet. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale as you hinge forward and fold. Reminding your shoulders to stay away from the ears. Keeping the crown of the head lifted. opposite direction with a circle. Good. And we'll inhale to come all the way back up. If you have your chair nearby and that helps, otherwise you don't need your chair, just walk your fingertips out in front of you. But if forward folds, are a little bit more strenuous on the back, you can always have your chair here. Walk your hands onto the chair, just come into the depth of your forward fold. Otherwise, if you don't need your chair, just bring the arms out in front of you. Inhale, lengthen through the sides of the body. And exhale as you walk the hands a little further away and the heart towards the ground. You can even use a couple of blocks underneath the hands if you don't have your chair nearby. Good. Next breath in, start to walk the hands in towards the shins. Bring the hands back behind you and keeping the knees wide and the feet about the edges of your mat maybe wider. So we'll lift through the, the sternum here, draw the shoulder blades towards one another, and then just start to windshield wiper the knees side to side. One more each way. And we'll slowly come all the way back up and we'll switch sides. Keep the right leg extended as you take your left heel in towards the right thigh. Walking the hands or the right forearm onto the right thigh. Inhale, reach long through the left side of the body. Exhale, side stretch, left fingertips over towards the right side of the body. And if that felt good, to take slow arm circles, nice and wide. And go the opposite direction. Hold it overhead for one deep breath. Good. Inhale. 
inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, forward fold. Walk your fingertips in front of you. Pause here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale as you continue to bring the palms away from you and fold forward. If you need to have blocks underneath the forearms here, or again, that chair, if that feels a little bit better. slowly start to walk the hands back towards the shins. Bend your right knee. We're going to just stack it right on top of the left for a twist. Right hand to the left knee, left hand back behind you. Take a deep breath in, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, looking towards the left shoulder. So you're going to feel that nice expansiveness through the left shoulder. One more deep breath in. Exhale, we'll slowly unwind. We'll bring the knees over to the opposite side. Right knee down, left knee stacks on top, just a little bit off to the side. So they're not right on top of each other, just a little askew. Right hand walks behind, left hand onto the right knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, looking towards the right shoulder. One more full breath here. And we'll slowly unwind. Bring your feet to the top of your mat. And bring your hands to the backs of the hamstrings. Lower all the way down to the mat, nice and slowly. We'll stack the knees right over the ankles. We'll take a moving bridge pose here. So we'll first be familiar with reaching the arms up and overhead so the backs of the palms touch the ground. So you exhale, you'll sweep the arms back so that the palms touch the ground. On your next inhale, we'll move the hips off of the ground, reach them up towards the sky as you bring the arms up overhead. Exhale, lower slowly all the way down to the ground. Palms down, glutes down. Inhale, lift the hips up towards the sky, arms up overhead. Exhale, rest everything down. We'll do that two more times with the flow of your own breath. Inhaling, lifting off of the mat. Exhaling to come back down. Do that again on your own, with your own breath. Good. And once you're all the way back down to stillness, we'll hug the knees into the midline of the body. Just give a little rock from side to side. And maybe that feels good to create big circles with the knees. Feeling that in the lumbar and the sacrum. And go the opposite direction, nice big circles. And we'll inhale, hug the knees back into the midline of the body. Happy baby. Hold on to the outside edges of your feet. Draw the knees to 
the outsides of the rib cage and if they can towards the mat. And you have the option to just stay still here. Or if that feels good to rock from side to side. If that feels even better, you can start to straighten one leg and then the other. And take another full round of breath here. Slowly draw the knees into the midline of the body. Spinal twist, shift your hips over towards the left edge of your mat. Knees over to the right, either giving yourself a big hug with the left arm. Use that blanket underneath the knee and ankle here. Or you can open both arms out and feel that expansive stretch through the front of the body. Take a deep breath in, draw the knees back to the midline of the body. Shift your hips over towards the right side of your mat and your knees over towards the left, either giving yourself a big hug, maybe having a blanket underneath the ankle and knees, or if it feels good to just open the arms up, looking towards the right. Inhale, hug your knees back to the midline of the body. Center yourself to the middle of your mat. And exhale to send the soles of your feet back down to the mat. If you have your blanket and you'd like that to support underneath your neck, the lumbar, the knees, maybe even just resting on top of the belly. Take your time to come into a most comfortable Final relaxation pose. Maybe taking the extra moment to lift the right leg and gently place it back down. Lifting the left leg, placing it down. Feel the right shoulder blade off of the ground and away and lay it back down. And do that on the left. Draw the shoulder blade up, over and down. Just creating a lot of space in the body to settle down to the ground. And start to relax the space between your eyebrows. Relax down your jaw. Relax your throat, chest, and tops of the shoulders. Relax the backs of your shoulders. Both arms, both hands. Relax the middle of your back, the low back. Soften the muscles in your stomach, coming back to a natural rhythm of your breath. Soften the hips. Relax both legs, both feet. And start to relax your whole body.
to your body. As you breathe in your breath, and you may want to your fingers and toes. Draw your arms or the head for a stretch. And then around the wrists and ankles. Now bring your knees into the middle of your body. Gently roll into your favorite side. Taking a moment to pause, breathe, give yourself gratitude for coming to your mat today. When you're ready, slowly come to seated position. Bring your hands to your heart, taking a deep breath in, full breath out. Namaste. Thank you, everyone.